Well, I did not want to make this video. However, today the Storm Prediction Center has issued a moderate risk of severe weather for the Arlotex region, um, Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, and parts of extreme northwestern Louisiana. Moderate risk of severe weather. This has been up updated since earlier today. 15% tornado risk here. Here's your cities. Wind threat is na uh, nasty. Hail threat not too bad. However, that that does not compare to here's. Um, we could pull it up actually. We've had 17 tornado reports today. I'm gonna read all of them. Uh, Lamar County, Texas, Toco, Texas. Multiple. Uh -huh. Actually, okay. This one had one injury. McCurtain County, Texas. Um, one injury. A house completely destroyed. Does not. It does not say. Um, how bad it was. Um, in fact, let's go, let's go here for a second. So a tornado outbreak has occurred today. However, data is not yet available due to the unvoting event. However, it, ex it is expected to be catastrophic. So this could be a December 10th event, type of event, except now it's not here. It's down here. Um, a major tornado outbreak is going on in northeastern Texas, southwestern Arkansas, and southeastern Oklahoma with multiple large, intense tornadoes being confirmed. Major damage has been reported in Paris, Texas, uh, Dagner Field, Texas, Idabel, Oklahoma, and New Boston, Texas. The latter two communities had tornado emergencies today. Um, numerous PDS tornado warnings have been issued. I even said I put out several warnings that there, this could be a nasty tornado outbreak, and it ended up becoming that. Um, I'm looking at um, looking at um, what do you call this radar scope? No tornado warnings in effect right now. So obviously, tornado activity is starting to go down. Uh, if we read this one here, considerable damage. Actually, no. Let's go to this one. Red River County, Texas, east south, six miles east southeast of Detroit, Texas. Widespread trees uprooted and or snapped across county roads to the west and north of Clarksville, Texas. Storm spotters con uh, confirmation of damage caused by a tornado. This one. Considerable trees uprooted or snapped across rural county roads to the west and northwest of Dagner Field. Tornado debris signature correlates to the damage across. Oh man. Um, we're gonna pull this up here. Oh. That's not what I want. Uh, okay. Uh, here's your radar. Actually, I'm going to pull up radar here. Tornado warnings. Are, this is... Uh, yeah, no tornado warnings, just severe thunderstorm warnings. These are flash flood warnings. Stretching all the way as far north near Springfield, Missouri, down to Idabel, Oklahoma. As I said, Idabel, Oklahoma had a tornado emergency along with Dagner Field, Texas. I'm, I'm most likely saying that wrong, so if somebody can correct me, please do. Um, considerable tree damage, uh, we did that one, widespread structural damage in Idabel, so this would be the Idabel tornado, homes damaged and destroyed, reports of injuries, numerous trees and power lines downed, command shelters are being set up, so that's, that's obviously not a good sign there. These two had tornado debris signatures, both in Arkansas, this would be around 7 o'clock. Considerable trees uprooted and or snapped near Naples, just east of Naples in extreme northwestern Cass County, Texas. Tornado debris signature correlates to damage being AR. I don't know what AR means. Uh, widespread trees downed uh, near and just south of the I-30 corridor, south and west of New Boston. Tornado debris signature correlates to the damage as a result of a tornado. Uh, significant damage inside city limits of Hughes Springs, Texas. Tornado debris signature from the KSRX radar, Altus, Arkansas. So this outbreak is expected to possibly break records. Um, tornado watch still in effect. I believe this goes on. Uh, yeah. Tornado threat is high. This now is becoming a QLCS event, quasi-linear convective system, as the storm is becoming becoming one line. Earlier today, these, uh, these were supercells. These were intense supercells. Um, the furthest back I can go on this radar is 8 o'clock. As you can see, they're kind... You can kind of pick... You can ooh, boy. you can kind of pick out where the supercells are. Here's one near Texarkana. Uh, excuse the lagginess here. You can kind of pick them out. They were supercells, and then they all formed together for one quasi-linear storm system. Um, if we look at the mesoscale analysis here... Uh, we, I can actually go back a few hours on this. It's becoming one line stretching all the way from Canada. Actually, no, I cannot... See, these storms, it's expected to become, it looks like it's going to become a derecho event in, a, in the next few hours, uh, the way these things are starting to um, pull together. Wind shear, very high wind shear today, along with Cape, 
the cape is starting to go down. That is good. 3,000 cape down here. So if the tornadoes were to form, if we put uh, wind shear back on, yeah, there could be tornadoes down in just south of Houston. Um, if that does materialize. Yeah, here's your moderate risk here. This area was much larger earlier today. Um, however, it as the storm system is rolling east, it, um, it's starting to slow down in intensity. If we look at tomorrow, marginal risk severe weather does not look like it'll do much. No tornado risk, which is somehow surprising. So obviously this storm is not going to become a tornado producer any longer after tonight. So that should be good. And here's the line of storms. It stretches all the way into Canada, into Quebec, Quebec, all the way down into Texas as the last line of storms there is starting to form up. But well, that is it for this little tornado outbreak weather event. I procrastinated on this because I did not realize it would be this bad. But actually, before we go, let's read this. Um, tornadoes, yeah, these are going to be bad if it's if we're going to have nighttime tornadoes. Luckily... The storm. The, luckily, the tornadoes formed at s around six, seven o'clock, so that is good because you can still see them. But now, if this continues to, if this continues on east, it will put down more tornadoes at night. So you gotta be careful if you're out here. You gotta pay attention to all your warnings. Take every warning seriously. Don't, because to today, if a storm goes, if a storm fires up. There could be a tornado. There could be an EF3, EF4 tornado on the ground. So do not take any chances with this storm, as this has already had a history of producing long-tracked and large violent tornadoes. Possibly violent, actually. We'll just see when the storm um, National Weather Service offices go out and survey these uh, tornado damage paths. So that is it from me. Goodbye.